Hi, Lan. I have heard a lot about AI, but I haven't seen very many applications using AI to solve real business problems. Do you know of any? Yes, I do. I wrote one. Is it yet another chatbot? No, it uses multimodal AI. Let me show you. It's so good to have you back on Serverless Expeditions again, Lan. Happy to be here, Martin. What's your current job at Google? I'm a customer solution engineer based in Google Singapore office. My job is to drive technical innovation and deploy customized AI solution in advertising sales. And you have Ryan with you there. Uh, Ryan, uh, what do you do for Google? I'm Lance Timmit. I'm also a customer solution engineer. Lan and I built the application together that we're showing today. Very nice. What business problem does your application solve? In marketing, you often create a long video ad first. That video is used in some places like on YouTube or other video platforms. Then you reduce parts of that video to make shorter video ads for other form factors and platforms like YouTube Shorts and other mobile devices. So AI can do more than just write text uh, to respond to chat messages? Yeah, th that's right. GenAI doesn't only generate new text, images, or videos. It can also enhance what you already have. This can be very useful in business. We often see Google Cloud customers combining generative AI with other AI technologies. I see. Now, how does your application do that? Well, it uses AI to transcribe your video and identify shots in the video. The data then is fed into generative AI, which can then generate new videos. We call that multimodal generative AI. Nice. Uh, could you show us a demo? Of course. Here's the last video that you and I shot together. Let's make a shorter version of it. Here are the topics it found. Here, I can review the shortened video. Look, it's only three minutes instead of the original eight minutes. It looks good. So I will click generate video. It will take a few minutes. And then we get the shortened video in landscape and portray mode. Wow, that's a lot easier than watching the entire video, taking notes, and then editing it manually in some video editing software. Uh, what does the code look like? The application is built in Cloud Functions that are called from the client side JavaScript in the user's web browser. These are the most important functions. Transcribe video, summarize video, and cut video. The first function is called transcribe video. Its job is to generate a text transcript based on the audio track of the video. It extracts the audio, trans the audio track from the uploaded video here. Then it loads that audio file into a recognition audio object and creates a speech client. Both those classes are provided by Google. Then it calls the long recog running recognize method which will create text from the audio file. This operation may take a while to complete. It uploads the text transcript to cloud storage, and finally it calls refined by video shots, which uses Google Video Intelligence AI to sync the shots with the audio to make the transition seamless. This is then returned to the caller. And then I'm guessing the summarize video function is called? That's right. The summarize video functions as Gemini to summarize the text transcript. First, it prepares the data for Gemini. Then it calls the send transcript to LM function. Let's go to that file where that function is defined. The send transcript to LM function creates a text generation model. That class has been provided by Google. Then it calls the predict method on that model and returns the response to the caller. And what is the prompt that you use for the large language model? That's defined right here in the root prompt age variable. Our English prompt is, you are a senior copywriter for an advertising agency who excels at summarizing transcript for video ads. Shorten the transcript by keeping important lines and removing other lines. And here's the same prompt in Chinese for when we are working with videos in that language. And the third function you mentioned is cut video. Yes, 
that function takes the original video and the summary that Gemini just created. It creates a shorter video based on those inputs using the MoviePy library. It doesn't call Gemini or do any AI at all. All right. Well, thanks for showing us how this works. Uh, as you were building this application, uh, what were your takeaways? Well, generative AI is more than just chatbots. It can also use to enhance content that you already have, and this can be very useful in business. We often see Google Cloud customers combining generative AI with other AI techniques and using multimodal AI. Please remind me, what does multimodal AI mean? It means AI can handle video, audio, text, and other data. Gemini was built and trained to be multimodal from the start. And it looked pretty easy to call it using the Google libraries. Um, so if someone watching this wants to experiment with multimodal AI, how can they get started? You can go to our GitHub repo named Adlib. You can look at the code and deploy it in your own Google Cloud project. Sounds good, Lana Ryan. Uh, I will add the link to the repo in the video description below. Uh, thanks for sharing all this with us. Thanks for having me again, Martin. It was great to be here. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for Lan, Ryan, or me, please enter them in the comments below. Also, let me know if there are other soulless topics you'd like to see in future episodes. I read every single comment. Until next time.